Warning! This film may be a bit too informational with someone with a wee brain. So please, be smart. What is love? Baby, don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. No more. Wow! Mercury is the closest planet to the sun. So close, it's burning my retinas. Ah. Along with that, Mercury gets a fantastic name from the god of trade and profit. Most importantly though, Mercury is the densest planet in the whole solar system. Good stuff. This is Mars. As we all know it, we haven't had proof. But on this little red planet, there could possibly be Martian life. Hello. Hello. You ever hear a Galactron? Also, because Mars has ultra-violent radiation, its soil is extremely dry. Water! Water! <laughs> okay, right here what you're looking at is Jupiter! The most obese planet of all the planets in the whole solar system. So. <laughs> okay, got, got, got. Sucker is so big, like, um, a thousand planet Earths could fit in it. I mean, come on, that's what Norman. Jupiter also tilts on its axis at about 3.13 degrees. Like that. Kind of like that. Okay, this is Saturn, and Saturn, out of all the planets in the solar system, is the second largest planet out of them all. all, all. <laughs> Saturn's winds blow at about 1,100 miles an hour! You know what? Saturn is 30% less dense than water. Yo. You know what? Uranus is the seventh planet from the sun. Uranus has an equatorial diameter of about 51,800 kilometers. I wonder why Uranus is so big. 
It wouldn't be so big if you just spent some time with me. <laughs> You know what? This is Neptune, and inside this crazy little planet, winds go as fast as about 1,200 miles an hour. <laughs> Fastest winds in the whole solar system. This Neptune right here was discovered in 1846 on September 25th. Now, Chip Neptune's insane. Over Neptune's fine discovery, we all discovered that Neptune has very long, extremely bright clouds that could blind anybody. <laughs> Goofy Goober! You're a Goofy Goober! We're all Goofy Goobers! Goofy Goofy Goober!